What's going on guys, Green Jelly here and welcome back to another video. Today we have a sun and moon coverage video um, because a new trailer came out uh, two or three days ago and I'm gonna go over it and we're gonna first we're gonna watch the trailer together and then I'm gonna go onto the website and cover everything seen in the trailer. So without further ado, uh, I've seen the trailer before but let's get into this. Your partner Pokemon have fully evolved. So here we have Decide UI, the Grass Ghost. That is, that's cool. I don't know why I, like, it changed to Grass Ghost. I think like one of the only reasons is because Litten is Fire Dark, so it's both effective. Decide UI signature move: Spirit Shackle prevents the opponent from switching out. Then you got Litten, Tauracat, and Incineroar, the Fire Dark type. Everyone's happy about that. Ev no one wanted a Fire Fighting type. Unless it was like really powerful, like something like a Blaziken. Yeah, this thing, they th this is one of the hardest decisions, uh, I reckon, for the starters. In Serial Signature Move, Darkest Lariat ignores the opponent's stats changes. And here's the starter I'm picking, Pre-Marina. This thing is so majestic. As soon as I saw the Chinese leak, like, uh, like five months ago, I was like, if this is real, I'm picking this. It's so majestic. Water Fairy, amazing typing. So happy about that. Pre-Marina's signature, signature move, Sparkling Aria. Heals the burns of any target. Meet the Guardians of the Alola region. So here we have the remaining Tapus. Akala Islands Guardian, Tapu Lele, the Psychic Fairy type with Psychic Surge. And the ability uh, makes a Psychic Terrain appear. That appears to make um, Dark type moves not work, but it actually prevents um, priority moves, I believe. And then we got Draining Kiss. So that's Tapu Lele. Uh, Ul Ula, Ula's Island Guardian, Tapu Bulu, Grass Fairy with Grassy Surge, which makes a grassy terrain appear. And then you got the uh, Zygarde 10% form just sitting there casually. And it appears to use Horn Leech. Then you got Pony Island's Guardian, Tapu Finny with Misty Surge. I thought it'd have something like Watery Surge to make the. Um, Battlefield Water, but it turns out it was uh, Misty Terrain instead. Um, which we'll get into what the terrains do later on. And it appears to use Moonblast. The Tapu share a unique Z move. Guardian of Alola. Now, this thing looks like that yellow uh, thing from the Mega Man stage Smash Bros. That's what it looks like, but it looks pretty cool, and the attack does tons of damage. It does 75% uh, equal to the target's remaining HP. So here we got some more Pokemon. Cosmog, uh, this was in the leak, the Psychic type with Unaware. It seemed as if this was going to evolve into Lunala, strangely enough. Uh, then you got the Alola uh, Persian with the round head, a dark type. But it doesn't seem like it's going to evolve into Lunala now. Uh, the abilities Foco and Technician. And there you get to see Dark Pulse. Witness the beginning of the Alolan Pokemon League. The Mount Lana Killer, the highest peak in Alola. Alola, we're going to make an awesome league here, so you'd better become an awesome trainer. And then you got champions that can take on the battle tree. So we got Cynthia, which is it's amazing. I can't wait for this game. This is going to be sick. And Wally as well. With his Gallade there. Then the most epic part. Epic music. Battle Legends. Red and Blue. It's crazy. Red's redesign looks pretty sick. And if you didn't notice, he's got 96 on his shirt. That's the first thing I noticed. Blue looks amazing, by the way. Blue looks sick as well. He's got his Alakazam there. Then you got Red. Beast with Pikachu. 
And yeah, that's the trailer. So, uh, I'll get, um, I'm gonna hop onto the website now and I'll be back in a sec. Okay guys, we're back and now we're going to be covering everything seen in the trailer. So first we got the starter evolutions, the side UI, the arrow quill Pokemon grass uh, ghost with the ability overgrow. Um, it explains that a skilled side UI can boast acrobatic curve shots. Um, and then you got spirit shackle is a ghost type physical move that only the side UI can learn. An opponent hit with this move will become unable to flee from battle or switch out. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Obviously, evolving from Dartrix and Rowlet before that. Um, this thing's pretty cool. If Rowlet looks cooler, I might pick this, but really, I'm not a fan of Rowlet. I think, I don't know, it's kind of cute, but I think that's an uh, ugly kind of... I actually like Dartrix, uh, strangely enough. I think it looks pretty cool. But yeah, Decide UI looks awesome. Um, if you could choose all three, then this thing is definitely would definitely be a member of my team. Then we got Incineroar, the final evolution of Litten, the heal Pokemon, Fire Dark with the ability Blaze. Uh, as its fighting spirit increases, the flames that Incineroar produces within its body burst from its navel and waistline. So there you can see the belt. Um, Darkest Lariat, Lariat is a dark type physical move that only Incineroar can learn and it allows Incineroar to deal damage while ignoring the effects of any stat changes that the uh, target might otherwise be affected by. So that's a really good move. Hopefully it's got uh, some decent power because that is, um, that'll be a really good move for competitive. And then last but not least we got Primarina, my choice. Primarina just looks amazing. I think that looks heaps cool. Um, the soloist Pokemon, uh, Water Fairy, and the Torrent ability. Uh, as it dances, Primarina releases balloons of water uh, into the area around itself, moving them uh, using sound waves from its voice. Um, among the balloons that Primarina releases, some explode when touched, and others do not. Primary and songs have many variations. Um, okay, Sparkling uh, Aria is a water type move that only Primarina can learn and it heals the burns of any target it strikes. So I don't really understand that. I think maybe it'll be like Hex. So if the opponent is burned, maybe it does double damage. Because why would you want to heal the opponent uh, from a burn unless they have Guts or Quick Feet or something like that? I don't understand why. Um, that would happen without something, uh, an extra effect. But now, moving on to the Tapus, we've got Tapu Lele, uh, the Land Spirit Pokemon Psychic Fairy with Psychic Surge. Uh, there's a legend long ago which says Tapu Lele once brought an end to the war between the islands of Alola by scattering its scales and soothing the tired warriors. Okay, okay. Um, Nature's Madness slams a target with all of Nature's Rage. Uh, reducing the target's HP by uh, half. Psychic Terrain is a move that no Pokemon was previously able to learn, and using it will boost the power of any psychic type moves and Pokemon on the ground uh, by used by Pokemon on the ground and prevent them from being hit by priority moves. Yeah, so that's why Sucker Punch didn't work. Um, when Tapu Lele appears in battle, yep. So it just uh, doubles that. So that's Tapu Lele. Then we've got Tapu Bulu, also the Land Spirit Pokemon Grass Fairy with Grassy Surge. Um, it doesn't like unnecessary uh, battles or frightening other Pokemon. So even though its appearance seems like a really nice Pokemon. Uh, Tapu Bulu's ability is Grassy Surge, an ability that no Pokemon previously had. Grassy Surge, the field will be turned into Grassy Terrain when Tapu Bulu appears in battle. Uh, boosting the power of any grass type moves used by the Pokemon on the ground and restoring a bit of HP every turn. It's kind of like an extra leftovers there. It also halves the damage taken from the moves Earthquake, Magnitude, and Bulldoze. Um, so, okay, and so there, there's a new move called Nature's Madness, which basically works like, um, uh, how do you say, uh, what's the move? Super Fang, yeah. So it cuts the ability in half. Um, not the ability. Cuts the target's HP in half. And then we got Tapu Fini. 
Um, wait, let me just go back to Tapu Lele. Oh no, uh, it's okay. So Tapu Fini, Water Fairy, Land Spirit as well, with the ability Misty Surge. It can manipulate water. Um, it gets Nature's Madness as well. Tapu Fini's ability is Misty Surge that no Pokemon previously had. Uh, Misty Terrain, when Tapu Fini appears in battle. Um, halving the damage taken by ground... No, not ground. Pokemon on the ground by uh, dragon type moves and pre preventing them from being afflicted with status conditions or confusion. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, anyways, now we've got the uh, Guardian of Alola Z move that um, the Tapus, uh, they can all learn it. Um, I'm not showing the Japanese trailer because it'll take up too much time in the video, but it shows all the Tapus. Um, Using them, and then you got as uh, as guardian deities of Alola. The Tapu can use the special Z move Guardian of Alola. When using this Z move, the Tapu close their shells, and a huge avatar appears from the ground to attack the opposing Pokemon, dealing damage equal to 75% of the target's remaining HP. So if the target has um, if the target has um, 100% HP. This move will do heaps, but if the target has 3 HP, this move will only do 2 damage. So it's uh, it's crazy to think like that. It's not a power move, it's a percentage move. Um, anyways, moving on, we've got Cosmog, the Nebula Pokemon, um, which is the Psychic type, unaware ability, which if you don't know what that does, it prevents um, uh, opposing Pokemon from eating berries. Uh, while this Pokemon's on the field. This extremely rare Pokemon is known to only a si uh, select few in Alola. At one time, it was known only by kings of Alola and their heirs, and it was called the Child of the Stars. The Aether Foundation is researching this unusual Pokemon, and one of the professors at the Foundation recently dubbed it Cosmog. Um, so it's obviously a uh, conjunction. Its name is Cosmo and Smog. So yeah. Cosmog is very curious and shows no fear of people or Pokemon. If you treat it with any consideration at all, it will take an immediate liking to you. This personality trait often leads it into danger. Its uh, gaseous body is so lightweight that it's sent flying when the wind blows. So that's funny. When it falls, um, when light falls on this Pokemon, Cosmog absorbs it and grows. So during the day, it will grow. So that's pretty cool. Then we've got the Alolan Persian. Uh, if you saw the leaks uh, that the data miners um, got from the demo, then you'd know all these Pokemon have already been revealed. But it's cool to see um, now their types and names and everything like that. Uh, so yeah, here we've got Alolan Persian, the classy cat Pokemon with the abilities Fur Coat and Technician. So we've got some good abilities there. Uh, the round face of Alolan Persian is a symbol of the rich Alola region and... Um, is held to be uh, a Pokemon of great beauty. Um, Persian is highly intelligent with an even higher opinion of itself. Um, its exquisite coat shines with the glow of the high quality and enchants both humans and Pokemon for this reason. It is a very po po popular Pokemon in the Alola region, so you're probably going to find Alola Meows everywhere. Uh, okay. And then, last but not least, we have the Battle Tree, which is so exciting. As I said, red and blue look cool as... So, yeah, let's just have a look here. First, we have the Pokemon League. So, in some other leagues, it said you're going to have to build your own Pokemon League, and they weren't wrong. This is all correct. So, we got the Pokemon League here. In the regions that have served as a setting for your adventures in the Pokemon series so far... The ultimate stage for the battle has always been a place called the Pokemon League. The Pokemon League is where the Elite Four, four trainers with powerful Pokemon partners, and the champion, who reigns as the top of all uh, pardon me, trainers, awaits challenges. A challenger who defeats the Elite Four and the champion will be hailed as the new champion of the Pokemon League. In the Alola region, the setting of the Pokemon Sun and Moon, there is no Pokemon League yet, but it seems that there are plans to construct one on the peak of a certain mountain, which I think it was um, Lana Killer or something. After the uh, after the growth 
you achieve through completing the island challenge, uh, will the day come when you also take on the Pokemon League to become the strong... Oh, wait. Let me rephrase that. After the growth you achieve through completing the island challenge, will the day come where you also take on the, the Pokemon League to become the strongest Pokemon trainer? So let's have a look at some pictures here. The view gallery. So oh, it seems that's... Uh, oh, no. We got some other pictures. So here's the red and blue Pokemon League, the X and Y Pokemon League, and yeah. So you can see that um, they've changed a lot. That uh, is, yeah, cool. And then we got that as well. So then we got scout partners to battle alongside you. At the battle tree, you can scout an opponent you've won against so they can partner with you in future battles. You may even be able to scout some familiar faces. So here you can take on Cynthia. If you don't know who Cynthia is, she, well, you're living under a shell. But Cynthia is the champion of the Sinnoh region. And she is um, proclaimed to be one of the strongest champions of all time. She has a really great team. And I remember battling her because my first game was Diamond. And if we get far enough, we might have to battle her in the Ultra Lock eventually. So yeah, we can see that we got multi-battles here. And there's Wally. And another multi-battle. And yeah, so they're all the images. And then the last bit... Here we have the battle tree where strong opponents await. Somewhere in the Alola region you'll find the battle tree, a place where those trainers who have completed their island challenge or are strong enough to have done so battle one another. All of the trainers you encounter at the battle tree are strong. It seems you might even encounter two battle prodigies from the Kanto region. So obviously we've got red and blue. Red got a redesign. Blue just changed his clothes a little bit. And he looks, his, these guys just look cool. The trainer looks epic. The trailer, sorry. And, um, yeah, it just looks heaps cool. I can't wait for this game. It's only three weeks away. November 18 or November 23 if you live in the UK. For me in Australia, it's, um, November 18. So, yeah, I can't wait for this. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and, yeah, all the coverage and stuff. And if you did, leave a like and subscribe as well. And yeah, have yourselves a jelly good day and peace out everyone.